And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to night three of RTBW's B1 Climax. I am, of course, Excala Jess, joined most recently, as always, by nobody. Uh, doing this one man solo act again. But tonight we have six more incredibly action packed matches. And we're going to start it off with a hot one. We got the Sultan taking on Eve Sparks. And what is probably two of the favorites right now coming out of Pool B. We've been starting with Pool A the first two shows. I wanted to switch it up and get Pool A main event for a couple shows. But this woman main evented last night for the first time. And now she's going to be opening the card. It is the Sultan. We saw her last night in a huge loss. Arguably, you know, an upset loss to, to Mexican Kelsey P. Uh, unfortunate. But I feel... Oh, jeez. I feel like this is exactly what the Sultan needs to get back on her winning ways. I think a lot of people... You know, I think she was very co cocky coming in. We saw a lot of comments from her in the beginning. And I think we, as the fans, got a little cocky, too, that she might run away with Pool B. But no, the veteran was able to humble her last night. And we'll see what happens as life rolls on. And there's copyright entrance again. Eve Sparks with the tank. I'm going to get that fixed. I I'm going to fix that after the stream tonight. But either way, Eve Sparks... In my understanding, is your current leader in points. Uh, while actually, while she does this, instead of just skipping through, like we have been the last couple times, let's take a look at the B1 climax and at the official standings right now. Let's take a look at Block B. Eve Sparks currently has two points. Rakisha, Angel Sapphire, and Kelsey Patton all have two points. Rebecca Wicked in the lead with four. She has her matchup up next. And of course, Hugging and Kicking taking up the rear right now. Both of them looking to score their first set of points as we move on tonight. And take a quick look at Pool A. We do see that K Storm is pulling away. She has a her bye week tonight, or by night. Uh, so we're going to see if anybody else in Pool A can tie her. As we continue on throughout the tournament. Let's head back to the ring. For Eve Sparks. Versus the Sultan. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Match number one of the night. Jeff the ref to call the action. High knee dodged. And Eve Sparks starting out with a combination. And a beautiful DDT. And here we go, folks. I'm so excited for another night of RTBW action. Now, folks, as of always, feel free to vote for who you think is going to win in the comments section over to the right-hand side of the screen. Do you think that the Sultan is picking up another win? Or is Eve Sparks picking up another win? Both these women looking to get four points up to four points uh with a win here tonight and now the sultan has eve up gonna hang her up to dry snake eyes on that top rope and let's see what the sultan what she's going for here she's just gonna stomp away on that left arm of eve sparks there you go shooting the mist Eve now with the counter. Jumping DDT. And it looks like right now we have about a 66... Oh, Spear! Out of nowhere from the Sultan. We have about 66% of the votes going for the Sultan tonight. We'll see if Eve Sparks is able to come away with a victory despite what the people believe. Uh, in my mind, we have now seen that the Sultan does have some weak points. And if you are a quicker... Uh, quicker superstar like Kelsey P was last night you can probably sneak and steal away a victory from the Sultan 
Eve Sparks, more of a technician, not known for her high flying skills. Can fly, has speed, but not as much as Kelsey does. So we'll see if the Sultan can, uh, you know, really capitalize here. I mean, her game is pretty obvious. Yep, this power. But she does have a deceiving amount of agility for her size. And here we go. A nice combination there from the Sultan. Eve with the counter now. He's got the grapple. And here we go. An Irish whip into the ropes. And a drop kick to the knee. Going to try to chop the big redwood down. Did not do enough damage though. As the Sultan lands another combination. Going to STO her down to the mat. And oh no. Going up to Brett's rope. And a big Sultan splash. No. She's going up again. And a giant frog splash misses from the Sultan. Eve Sparks in control now. Dodges the knee. And here we go. The Sultan with a suplex. Oh. Uh-oh. Hooks it. And a second. And a third. Sultan suplex. And oh no. Eve though hooks her into the backbreaker. And the nasty Nate boot to counter. Let's see if that's going to be it too. No. Here we go. Eve sparks. Uh oh. She's got the crossface locked in. But no. The Sultan right on the ropes. Yes, that nice backbreaker into the big boot. Oh, man, look at Eve. Just getting tied up there with the Sultan. Oh, nice basement drop kick again. Oh, but the Sultan with the counter. Oh, dodges the elbow. Eve able to just kind of bob and weave her way through this matchup. Combination there. A perfect one, two, two, and no. The one, two from the Sultan. Landing perfectly. Let's see. She is now back in control of this matchup. Irish whip to the Irish, or the Irish woman herself. Oh no! She's going up to Brett's rope. Oh no! The top rope. Split leg moon salt from the Sultan. One, two, and no. Could have sworn that was gonna be three. Unbelievable moonsault there. That split leg moonsault <coughs> landing perfectly. What has so far been an incredible opening match. Here we go. Dodges the chop. A, ser a serious right. Oh no. We saw this last night. Oh. That's the move that put away. Uh, I believe it was Angel Sapphire last night. That submission hold. And if somebody in the chat can remind me of that name. I believe it was a code of silence. It was the code of silence. Two and Noah kick out at two. You hear the, the crowd chanting, fight forever. Great match. They're like, great match, great match. Fight for, oh, dodges the spear. Rikisha with a spear out of nowhere. And now here it goes. Shoots the ropes. And a basement drop kick to the nose. You got to say that face covering might have taken a little bit of a blow off. But I still say the damage was done on that drop kick. Here we go. Now Eve. Oh, countered on the outside. and Rikisha trying to... Oh, hello. Okay. She's trying to get the action back in the ring. But Eve... Tope Suicida to the back of the Sultan. Eve Sparks not even waiting for her to turn around. Just clocking her in the back. Unbelievable. And now Eve has her stunned on the outside. And a nice Irish whip there from the Irish woman herself. Now, here we go. Eve now. Pop up. 
Oh no, wait, Eve catches her into the power bomb on the apron. Oh my goodness. To anybody joining us for the first time, welcome in to Ring the Bell Wrestling and this unbelievable opening match. Oh no. Are we getting another count out? Jeff the ref trying to give Eve a little bit of time. Is she gonna beat the count? Eve beats the count! Holy moly, that was a close one. I would have hated if another match ended in count out. And here we go, the Sultan setting up for something. No! Huracan Rana from Eve. Oh, now Eve setting up for something. Another basement drop kick to the nose. And the Sultan runs to the outside again. Now these two women going at it on the outside one more time. Big spin kick, a nice combination from the Sultan. Here we go. The Sultan trying to get her up. A nice dragon leg screw counter. Eve now taunting the crowd. Trying to get the RTBW faithful on her side. The Sultan kick to the... Oh no. We've seen this before. No! No! Eve battling out. A series of right hands to the face. And a nice drop kick from Eve. And now Eve... She's gonna try to, yes, yeah, she throws the Sultan back in the ring. And now Eve in control here. And now Eve, uh oh, big, nasty combination. Into the cover, hook of the leg, Jeff the ref in perfect position, and no! The Sultan kicks out. Uh-oh, super kick to the knee. Shoots the ropes. A scissor kick. Scissor kick. She's dragging the Sultan into the center of the ring. And she's going for the cover here. Hook of the far leg. Did she waste too much time? No, she didn't. Eve Sparks with the victory. Eve Sparks. Winning this opening contest, an absolutely fantastic opener. You saw that frog splash, you saw that nasty combination. The split leg and moonsault, and here it was. A nasty combination into a scissor kick for the victory. I've been told that the Big Recon is going to be meeting the Sultan backstage. That could be fun. We'll see what that interaction is like. But anyways, folks, your winner... And picking up another two points to tie herself with her tag team partner, it's Eve Sparks. Oh, to be a fly on the wall between Big Recon and the Sultan. But I digress. Eve Sparks picking up two more points as we move on to our second match of the evening. As now... From one tag team partner to the next, Rebecca Wicked is looking to continue the good luck of the Twisted Sisters as she takes on Sarah, who's looking for her first points of the competition. And unfortunately for Sarah, she's going up against one of the greats, one of the leaders of this side of the bracket. Unfortunately, both the Twisted Sisters are, are going early, which means Jay can leave the chat early. And we're going to lose a viewer. Yes, Sarah is now looking for her first set of two points in this competition. It's been hard for her. She already suffered a loss to one half of the Sisters in our previous week, and now... She has the opportunity to right that wrong and try to pick up her first set of points in the tournament.
as uh, I'm just updating the bracket here on our end. Very excited to see what's going to come out of this matchup because I don't know. I, I feel for hugging and kicking right now. These are two women who are leaving their all out there on the mat every night and, and don't have the points to show for it. At least not yet. So, you know, maybe maybe I'm, I'm a little biased in this one, but I, I think I might want Sarah to win this one tonight. I don't know. I'm not usually supposed to be biased, but I have nobody to, to play off of tonight, so... Maybe I get to be. Either way, no... No music. No music. It's Rebecca Wicked coming away tonight. Already has four points. Let's, she's looking for six. <coughs> that's that's the key number right there. Six gives you a very good shot of keeping up with the leader position. She already has it. A beautiful, ooh, nice maneuver there. And, uh, oh, yes, I'll be right back. Sorry, folks. We had an issue in catering, but we should be good to go. Very excited for this matchup here. Folks, don't forget to vote. I know I just put the poll up, but feel free to cast your vote on who you think is going to win this matchup. Do you think it's going to be Sarah? Vote one and vote two for Rebecca Wicked. Sarah starting off this matchup pretty strong. Seems like she's had the advantage for the most part. Wicked now with the Wicked counter there. You can tell I'm from Massachusetts because it just rolls naturally off the tongue to me. And here goes Sarah though. Hanging up. Oh man, look at the squats. And a second into the vertical suplex. And you know that's going to get all the blood rushing to your head on that one. And a nice, oh my goodness, a nice package suplex there. Hooking that leg, and one, and only one, so far. And here we go. Sarah now, oh, Sarah hooks the legs. She's shooting that half leg there. <coughs> Modified ankle lock knee bar. That we saw do pretty good the other night against uh, the other member of the Twisted Sisters, Eve Sparks. And now Eve, s sister coming back, Rebecca Wicked, oh, dodge, and a Pele. R.I.P. to the GOAT. One, two, and no, only a two count. I don't think it's gonna, I think it's gonna take a lot more than that to put Sarah away this early in a bicycle knee into the Poison Rana, that might do it. Here we go, one. Two. Oh, Sarah with the rope break. Yes, you, if you are joining us for the first time, this is night three of the B1 Climax, an all women's round robin competition to figure out who truly is one of the greatest women in professional wrestling today. Right now, Rebecca Wicked has 
a head start on everybody. Sarah with a beautiful counter, though. And oh no, she's gonna hook him with the disarmer. She's gonna try to rip her arm off now. Sarah going for that arm, but no. Wicked able to sneak out. Of course, I love football. My favorite team, AFC Richmond, but I digress. Big series of lefts and a 360 pump kick. Shoots the ropes. Big knee. Oh, and a nice pop out of it, too. A little bit of extra flair. This is Rebecca Wicked now trying to get the crowd. The crowd hates the sisters. I don't know why she's trying to get them on there. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no. She's trying to get her up. She's like halfway across the ring. Is she going to reach? Yes, she does. Barely with the shotgun dropkick. Might have done a little bit of extra damage to herself. In the process, she kind of landed on the back of her head and Obama Yang knee. One, two, no. Here we go, Rebecca Wicked now stalking Sarah at this point. And there you go, one atomic drop, two atomic drops. Definitely not as uh, effective as this would be in the men's division, but either way, still a painful maneuver. Sarah trying to get her breath back. Oh no, what is she looking for? Anyone can do a Russian leg sweep right onto the barricade. And now Sarah in back of the ring. Trying to create some space here. Breaks up that 10 count on the outside. And now Sarah with the grapple. Oh, Rebecca Wicked going right into the post there. Half and half on the floor. Irish whip now back into the barricade. Huge barricade shot. A second barricade shot. And Sarah... Kind of has a second wind here, taking advantage on the outside of the ring. And head first into the post. Eve Sparks now trying to get a set of knees in there. Let's try to take Sarah down. Sarah now has three more seconds to get back in. She's taking her time. Uh-oh. Eve doesn't see it. But Sarah's back in. And she hits a drop kick. Uh, for those who are wondering, we will talk football after the after this matchup. I don't want to take away from what these two women are doing in the ring right now. It's been a fantastic match. I mean, how can you follow up that first match? These two women are trying, though. And here we go. Eve Sparks with the counter. And oh no, Eve has her up for the wicked kiss of death. And Eve Sparks a little bit too close to the rope. She recognizes it. Ken, is she wasting a little too much time here? Let's find out. Into the cover, hook of the far leg. Two and no. Sarah able to gain enough consciousness back. And there you go, bicycle knee into a second poison rana. Here we go, one, two, three. And Rebecca Wicked keeps up her winning ways as she has gone through half of the field with straight victories. Your winner, Rebecca Wicked. And unfortunately, that drops Sarah. Back down to 0-3, still at zero points in the competition. But it's not over yet, folks. Anything can happen as we continue to go. You can't rule Sarah out. Sarah got some nice advantages on the outside. Thought she could turn it around, but when they got back in the ring, 
Rebecca Wicket had her number. And your winner is Rebecca Wicked. Now six points. At the top of the pool. Let's move on. For those of you asking soccer, big fan of Mbappe. I love me some Mbappe. My goal is to go see a, a Chelsea match on my, uh, we're trying to honeymoon in, uh, go visit London. And I, I want to go see a, uh, a Chelsea match. So that's, that's the goal. Mbappe. That's how the kids used to say it in my school. They're, they're like little, when I worked in, uh, K through five, they go, mm, Mbappe, he's my favorite. So I just spent all morning. I would spend afternoons watching Mbappe highlights on uh, this kid's phone. Either way, folks, let's head into match number three. And here we go. The Hull Pirate herself, Britt Balor, back in competition. She had last week off, or last night off. So she should be well rested and ready for this matchup here against Kelsey P. Which we saw what happened last night. Kelsey shocked the world by defeating the Sultan. And what was at the time an upset, but now the Sultan at one and two. So maybe it's less of an upset here. Either way, we have a veteran in the ring taking on this woman. And we'll see if Britt Balor can turn around the bad luck that has plagued hugging and kicking. Since uh, since day one of this competition. And from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Kelly P. And here we go, Mexican Kelsey P, making her way back down to the ring. She has two points, and she's looking for two more. And we'll see what happens here, Kelsey. Again, picking up a shock victory last night. Britt Balor, falling. Victim to Rebecca Wicked in week one. So uh, this is kind of open here. I don't know who's actually going to win this matchup. Which is uh, which is why I'm going to ask you guys. Who do you think is winning this matchup? Vote one for Britt Balor and two for Kelsey P. There you go, Brittany out with a strong start. There you go, nice chop. And she's going to try to wear down the leg. Stop that high-flying, fast-paced action of Kelsey. That's smart. There you go, Britt. Eat the feet. And now, she looks like she has Kelsey stunned right here. Brittany right now in the driver's seat. Ever since the beginning, I don't think Kelsey's got one lick of offense in so far. Here we go, a nice kick to the back. The swole of the back. Now Britt just playing with the ropes there. Let's see what she has in store. They're looking for it, no! That was gonna be a camel clutch. And here we go, Britt to the top rope. Elbow to the swole of the back again. And look at Britt targeting that spine of Kelsey and it's only a two count there. It could have been three to be honest with you. And here we go. Britt now with that side slam modified rock bottom. And now Kelsey rolls to the outside trying to get some space. Britt telling her to get up. We'll see what Britt's going for. 
the oh my goodness a beautiful corkscrew off the middle rope using that rope as extra bounce a beautiful maneuver there Kelsey trying to get a bit of offense was able to dodge a move but eat defeat on the outside and it looks like Kelsey still cannot get an ounce of offense in this matchup here we go Britt just driving her back first again gonna try to destroy her spine my goodness Brittany is focused right now she is so incredibly focused oh just whips her into the corner of the barricade and Jeffina gonna start the 10 but Balor says no thank you let's keep this match going uh oh Kelsey with the counter and here we go. She's go. She got her neck breaker. Kelsey trying to get the fans on her side here, but Britt able to get back up, and a nice exploder suplex. And you got to think that suplex onto the outside with the bad back, not a great place. To get suplexed. Although I would argue there is no great place to be suplexed. Other than maybe a trampoline. Big right hand. And here we go. Britt now has her up. And a split. And a nice leg drop there. That modified Big Show leg drop. Britt going to. Is she going to jump across the ring? Kelsey's basically in the other corner. Oh my god. Shooting star press across the ring. One, two, no. Wow, the range from Brittany. And she's got her up. Oh, 630. Reverse 630 or reverse 540. That's it. Brittany with the exclamation point on this one picks up her first two points of the tournament. Unbelievable. Let's take another look at that. Boom. That double rotation on that moonsault. Here's your winners, and Britt Balor picks up her first two points of the tournament. Unbelievable ending. And you got to say, Brittany, we, you, you heard what we said on commentary and she came out strong. She didn't want to mess around no more. But a huge victory for Brittany as we close out play in Pool B. Let's take a look at the updated standings here. Britt Balor, two points on the board now. Stara still has zero. Eve Sparks moves up to four. Rebecca Wicked moves up to six. Kelsey P still has two. Rakisha the Sultan with two. And Angel Sapphire on her bye week keeps two points. We now have a clear first, second, and third. Or at least a tie for three. With the Twisted Sisters doing pretty well for themselves so far. <coughs> Folks, let's head down to the ring for the first matchup in Pool A. And of course, we're starting it off with the champ. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. From the bits of hell. Paige. And there is Paige Infernum. She is now 1-0. Oh no, she's 0-1. She lost to, uh, to K-Storm last night. Tonight she goes one on one with San Annie, so we'll see if her luck can turn around. But so far, Paige Infernum, our women's world champion, is down. And not really anywhere. Well, I mean, it's only been one match. But she's nowhere near the top right now in her pool. She's got to pick up the pace here if she wants to stay on pace with the current leader in pool B which is in fact if I do some quick math K Storm at four points 
which for everybody involved this is a great time for a comeback k is not in action tonight which means we have a few women that get to that have, might have the opportunity to tie her including both women in this match here comes san annie down to the ring looking for a huge second victory in this tournament And let's get it on, folks. Who do you think is going to win? Is it Paige or is it San Annie? The pride of San Antonio, Texas. Who do you think? Walking away, Paige with a discus punch. Uh-oh, springboard rolling into... Whoa, beautiful Hurricane Rana. Nice. Drop kick to the back. Again, guys, feel free to vote on who you think is going to win this matchup. Is it the champion or is it San Annie? San Annie now going to hook the leg. And nice face buster there. Now it looks like Paige is kind of stunned there. She's holding her arm. That's never a good sign. It might have an arm injury there. And right now, Paige having a hard time getting out of the gate here. Oh, okay. Paige rolls to the outside, trying to create some space. San Annie with the plancha to the outside, not letting her get a single moment of rest. DDT on the floor. And Annie is taking it to the champion right now. A page takedown. Series of rights. She just had it. She's had it. Maybe she's been toying with her. I don't know. Letting her get a fake sense of confidence. But now Paige is pissed. Here we go. Hanging her up. And a big boot to the side of the head. And it looks like everybody right now is voting for Paige. To win this matchup the champion does not have an advantage but the champion's a champ for the reason now Paige going face first into the steps and Paige oh Annie trying to get back in the ring is she gonna break up the count or is she gonna win by count out no oh Paige though gets the boot up has her is she going? No. Annie with a counter. Plants her with an inverted DDT. <coughs> Perfectly landed. Annie in control. Nice, perfectly landed drop kick from Annie. DDT there. Just keeping on the champion, not letting her get a single moment of breath. Paige with the overpowering kick out. Here we go. Big right hand. Irish whip now. Paige and Fernham just trying to get her breath at this point. Oh no. Oh no. She's going to split the uprights. No. It's good! Oh, not for not for Annie, of course, but for Paige. Huge boot there. And oh no, the Paige Turner! Into the cover. Hook of the far leg. One, two, and no. Oh man, a huge right hand just clocking her in the head. Paige in control here. Oh no. Look at that. Just toying with her now. The champion in complete and total control. Annie rolling to the outside. Paige. Not wanting to waste a minute now herself. Oh, actually, no. She is wasting a minute. She is taunting. Paige with the taunt. And now. Wait, what is she doing? 
I don't know why she's climbing on her that way. Big headbutts, though. A series... Four. Four headbutts. Just... I don't know. Just trying to incapacitate Annie here. Now throwing her back in the ring. Uh-oh. Big counter. Annie now go behind. Float over DDT. But Paige gets right back up. DDT again, though. Slamming her face first onto the mat again. Paige, though, gets up. Clothesline. Annie with a comeback now. Two clotheslines. Up, oh, dodges the boot. And sweeps the leg. Annie trying to pick up some momentum. A huge combination. And now has her in the corner. Big slap. She's going up. She has her beautiful corkscrew arm drag. Some lucha stuff from San Annie. What a great start to pool A action here. Oh, Paige with the counter. Oh, but misses the spear. Uh oh, we saw this head first. And into the cover, but right into a rope break. Annie not having the... She's young. This is her third match in RTBW. Just not having the spatial recognition of where she is in the... Oh, no. Float over. Gonna spin it. DDT! Into the shooting star. <coughs> I'm saying for her third match, she ain't doing half bad against the champ. Now Paige. Oh, a series of rights. And now Paige. Uh-oh. Has her. No way. Package. DDT! And that could be it. Just as fast as she strikes. No! Kick out by Annie. Annie has a ton of momentum. Although Paige was able to turn the tide for just a second. Oh, big drop kick. No, dodges the shooting star again. Basement drop kick, and now Paige with all the momentum again. Right hands, right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand, and one more. And a slap for good luck. Is she going to set up for this one more time? No, Annie with a dodge. And Annie with a series of kicks with those cowgirl boots. Oh, Paige. Uh oh, spinning cutter. Look at that running spin around cutter. I've never seen that before. This could be it. She might have stunned the champ. It's over. Wow. I don't know what's up with Paige right now, but San Annie picking up a huge victory here again tonight. And the champ is just off of her off her roll right now. You saw that nice beautiful swinging cutter there. I don't know what she calls that. That might be like a Okay, I'm getting word that's the Texas tornado. And Annie with a huge victory, putting her up to four points. And it's time to move on to our next matchup, our fifth match of the night, here in Pool B, Pool A. It is Tiffany Love, one half of the tag champs against Casey Joe. <laughs> and here we go, folks. Introducing first the one, the only Tiffany Love.
Tiffany Love. Making her way down the ring. She had the last... She had her bye last, uh, last night. And the only win that she has in her only match has been against her tag team partner, Tiffany White. So needless to say, you'd have to think, a buy this early in the tournament, I'm sure, you know, keeps you fresh for longer, but honestly, I would rather have one towards the end. <coughs> or like week four. Whoever has that week four buy is, is sitting pretty good. Because that way you get three matches, a break, and then three matches. Now Tiffany Love has to go five matches in a row. Five nights in a row. Which could be a bit of a disadvantage if we get closer to the end of the tournament. But here she comes. Here's her opponent, Casey Joe. From Springfield, Illinois, Casey Joe. Casey Joe currently has zero points. Huge losses to San Annie in week one. And last night, losing to Tiffany White, Love's tag team partner. So now Casey Joe looking for a bit of redemption here against the other half of TPW. And we'll see if that works out. Casey Joe, one of the promising upstarts here in Ring the Bell. A couple of prominent victories, but still looking for something to really hang her hat on. And maybe knocking off one half the tag champs might be that match that she needs to win to cement herself in the upper echelons of this women's division. Here we go. Nice back forearm to start. Casey Joe right out of the gate. Nice! Spine buster there. Casey Joe starting off hot. And folks, feel free to vote for who you think is going to win this matchup. Tiffany Love for one, Casey Joe for two. Type your vote in the comments to the right of the screen. And here we go, Casey Joe. Big. Just chucking her head back it's into the mat, seeing what happens. Casey now has her up for a suplex, it looks like. Beautiful vertical suplex and a nice slow speed. Very ginger suit. Oh, no. There we go. Northern Lights. If I ever get to see the Northern Lights or see the Eiffel Tower at night, suplex. Casey Joe's a country fan, so. She would get that reference as here we. Let's keep moving on. And a nice, beautiful suplex again. Just that slow movement out of that suplex really does a difference. Uh, sure, you get a bit of a snap of the neck. On a faster German, but on a slower one, you get the blood rushing to the head. <coughs> a little bit more. Tiffany Love. A couple of running strikes there. And a cravat suplex. Going to plant her on the, on the floor. Casey now. Kind of shrugs off that slap and chucks her face first into the barricade. Jeff the ref trying to get these women back in the ring. Casey Joe, oh my goodness! Over the top rope with a senton. A beautiful senton. Keeping the momentum on the side of Casey Joe. Here you go now, Joe has her up. Up, oh, electric chair. Face first. Here we go, into the cover, hook at the far leg, two count. Wait! That's three! Um... Did you guys th did you guys notice if she... Did she get the rope on that? Oh, let's check this replay right here, check that rope. Uh, guys, I think she got the rope. Uh... Either way, Jeff the ref out of position didn't see it, and your winner, picking up her first two points of the competition, is Casey Joe, and arguably, uh, it's 
controversial fashion. Very interesting. Jeff the ref didn't see it, but the what the referee says is final. Your winner, picking up two points, is Casey Joe. And folks, that leads us into our main event of night three. Tiffany White versus Sammy Stone. And here we go, folks. It's time for your... Oh. Okay, I guess we don't have entrances on. So here we go. Tiffany White going straight into it against Sammy Stone. Both of these women have two points. Both are looking to pick up four and get... Or two more, rather. To get into the tie. Sammy Stone defeating San Annie last night. And Tiffany White defeating Casey Joe in week one. So here we go, it's right out the gate. These two women going at it. Sammy Stone now shoots the ropes. And a nice mini con rana. You see that snap? When when you're on your knees and you get snapped in a hurricane rana like that, that just is very easy face first into the mat. Not good for your nose. Here we go, Tiffany White. Obama Yang! There you go, Sammy, though. Running back, face first. Plants are in the center of the ring now. Jeffina in perfect position. Only a two count. We did take Jeff the Ref out for this matchup. He was supposed to call this one. Uh, after the last one, though, we're going to give the nod to Jeffina. And oh, nice backflip into the crisscross applesauce. Like she's waiting for reading time in kindergarten. And here we go. Sammy Stone now hooks the leg. Spins her out face first, Buster. And now, oh, nice twist of the arm. And now into the cover. Only a one count, though. This early on, I don't foresee Tiffany White picking up a victory. But, heck, we've seen weirder. I mean, tonight, Casey Joe got a win. And basically just a few short minutes. And a nice Superman forearm shot there from Sammy Stone. Guys, feel free to vote in the chat who you think is going to win this matchup. One for Sammy, two for White, and a kick out at two. And a beautiful sit-down powerbomb there. As, oh, dodges the headbutt. Sammy Stone looking for that signature headbutt of hers. Here we go, Tiffany White now has her in the corner. And a hooker on the leg. Oh, man. Just using Brett's rope to her advantage there. And now Tiffany White setting up for something. Oh, using the arm now. Using the rope on the arm. It's kind of stunned her there. Irish whip. And now Tiffany White going to capitalize here. Another whip into the... Oh, nope. Now back into the, the ropes. Nice discus forearm shot. Stone with a counter. Big super kick. And a second super kick. <coughs> one to the front. One to the back. Two and no. Sammy Stone. Following White to the outside. And just shoves her. White though trying to cover up. And now these women getting dangerously close to fighting up the ramp. Oh man, these these two are going towards the ramp. Oh yeah, yeah, get the spotlight on them. We can't really see what's going on out there. At least not from my not my vantage point. I'm stuck over here on the other side of the ring. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, never mind. And a nice prestige lock on the outside. I think Tiffany White might be going for another count out. Oh, actually, her love got a count out. I don't think White wants to go for a count out. Gonna whip her. Oh man, goes face first into the bear, into the the onto the apron. Uh oh. 
Catches her. She was taunting. She didn't see it. We saw this. That stone, that new version. There we go into that stone cutting net breaker. One, two, no. Sammy Stone really caught her by surprise there. That easily could have been three if Tiffany White wasn't. She really wasn't protecting herself there. There you go. Stone now grabs her by the ears and just chucking her back down onto the ground. Now White. Oh, she gets suplexed in. A fisherman gourd buster. <coughs> Storm. Nice senton. Guys, don't forget to drink water. Some nice Florida water is really going to help now. Oh, beautiful. It's a great kick on the side of the ear. Sammy Stone rolling up, trying to get up in the corner. Using the ropes, but now she's caught there. Oh, the counter. Stone able to get out of that predicament. Now Irish Whip. Oh, into Jafita. But White able to, to see through that little distraction. Irish Whip. Good hop over. And a nice running forearm shot. Tiffany White with the combination suplex into the cover, but a rope break. She went foot first into that middle rope. Uh-oh, we saw this. Obama Yang! And White seems to have all the momentum on her side right now. White picking her up. And, oh, into the nice neck breaker there. Puts herself in between the ropes, too, and oh. Smart move there. White puts herself, her body, in between Stone and the ropes, making sure she can't get a rope break. We're making sure that Jafina, the ref, is very much looking after this rope break situation after that last matchup. And White there going for a surfboard. Instead, a double knee breaker. Oh, Stone with a counter. Big right hand, big chop. Combination into the running power bomb. And now White in the corner. Sammy Stone getting a running start there. Rolling into the blockbuster. Sammy Stone telling her to get up. She looking for that that modified Rochambeau again. No, wait, can she get her up? No, White with the counter. White switches it up. She's going for it again. Another neck breaker. Puts her body in between Stone and the ropes. This could be it, folks. Two and three. Your winner, Tiffany White, picking up two more points here in Pool A. And what a main event here. And that double super kick from Sammy Stone. And then you see here when the tide... No, before the tide turn. And there it is. That snapmare cutter of sorts and a huge victory for Tiffany White in tonight's main event. And she picks up two huge points against Sammy Stone. And what was a, a very, very action, very controversial, action packed. Had a little bit of everything here tonight in night two. Couple of fantastic matches in Pool B. We had our first biggest squash. We had a, a very controversial ending. And then this masterpiece at the end. Well, let's take a look before we head out at the Block A standings. Page Infernum. Still zero points. Sammy Stone only with two. San Annie moving up to a tie for first with four. Tiffany White has four. Tiffany Love still only has two. Casey Joe picks up her first two in case Storm. Still in that first place tie with four points. After her bye week, we'll see her in night four. Back in action. But folks, for everybody here at Ring the Bell Wrestling, I have been Excaligus. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you for night four of the B1 Climax.